In this video, we're going to look at how you can rank your homepage on Google faster using some simple tricks, using keyword tools, and I'm going to jump in right now with some examples from some people in my Facebook group who've been asking how they can improve their ranking for their main services that they offer, and they're already using some of their service keywords on their homepages, but they're just not getting a lot of traffic. So let's quickly take a look at Christine's website to start with and give some examples and some keyword research to show you guys how you can leverage the power of your homepage. The first thing you've got to understand is your homepage is typically the most linked to page on your website. That means it's the most powerful page in Google's eyes and you can often rank for more challenging keywords on your homepage compared to any other page on your website. So you have to be Really careful what keywords you choose on your homepage. You can try to rank for more competitive keywords, but don't just dump anything on your homepage because you're actually wasting an opportunity. So Christine said to me she wants to rank for blogging, writing. She does freelance uh, writing for blogs on the web, and she's trying to rank typically for finance style blogs. And one of the things you have to do is use these keywords in your homepage, try to get them into the content on the homepage as much as you can. Now the homepage typically doesn't have a lot of text. You can maybe try and get some extra paragraphs in here. She doesn't have a lot of stuff on here. Maybe an extra description of, of what she does somewhere. But one of the main ways you can do that is in the top here where you're writing about your services and also in your title, your main title and meta description. Now if we jump in and look at what she's doing here, I'm inspecting the code here. This is probably a little bit tricky looking for some of you. If you right click in Chrome or Safari and do inspect and then do a search control F or command F for the title tag. Or even if you go into WordPress, if you're using that and you edit the page, you can look for the title tag in Yoast. That's what I'm doing here on Christine's side. I'm looking for the title tag and I'm seeing here that she's using hire a professional freelance money and business blogger. And she said to me that she believes she's ranking for freelance finance blogger or freelance money blogger. So I'm going to look up some of those keywords using a tool that I use KW Finder and take a look at the competition and the traffic because these are really important things that you need to worry about when you're ranking for these kind of keywords. And she's ranking fifth for that term. We can see here on the right hand side. I might just zoom in a little bit here for you guys. Make that a bit clearer. You can see on the fifth in this box on the right hand side here, she's ranking fifth for that. But Unfortunately, there's no traffic. If we look on the left hand side here, the top search hit is the search that I gave and the rest are just suggestions. So it says NA for the search volume here in the second column. And that means there is pretty much no traffic that's been measurable. There may be a few hits for this, but that particular keyword is not going to do her any good. So you can place your main keyword in your title, in your meta description, in some of your content to try and rank for it. But if you haven't done the research ahead of time and checked whether this actually has search volume and whether it's too competitive, then you're really going to suffer. Now, as you can see, this is typically a reasonably competitive term. You were getting a lot of uh, medium to high level DAs here. This DA measurement is a measurement of the power of the websites. So her website is a 23 and most of the websites here are more competitive than her, but she's leveraging the power of her homepage to rank. She has seven links that this tool can find on her homepage, which beats most of the pages on this particular search term, but there's no traffic. So what I would do instead is I would look for a similar word and try and find something that she could potentially rank for instead, maybe even two options, because you can squeeze in maybe two keyword phrases in your homepage and try and rank for those instead. So maybe something like writer instead of blogger would be a better idea because not everyone is looking for a blogger. They might be looking for a blogger, but they don't realize they're looking for a blogger, so they look for a writer. And as we can see here, the 
Freelance Business Writer gets 55 searches. And over here, we've got the chart of search volume. It varies between 85 and 45 over the year, depending on the time of year. There's no discernible pattern to that, but it's varying across the year, let's say 50 to 60 searches. And this is not as competitive. Although you're going up against a few job companies here, but still some people are ranking in here. Don Sadler with a similar DA, so similar strength in SEO is ranking for this, although he has 64 links. And Diane Bucker or Bucher is also ranking for this, but she has 100 links. Uh, but she has a DA of 18. So potentially Christine could rank for this particular term instead of using blogger. So I would get the term writer in there instead of blogger. Uh, maybe put something in there like finance. Uh, it could also be a term that she could look for. And that's again a little bit competitive. She could play around with these and see if she can rank for them and try and optimize her homepage. You've just got to do a bit of exploration, take a look at the top 10, see whether it looks too competitive, uh, see whether you can get ranked for those kind of things. But these are the tricks you need to do. You need to check the traffic, you need to check the competitiveness, you need to get these terms into your title, your meta description, and into the content of your homepage as much as possible. You can even put locations in here. If you work in a specific location, then you can rank for the term and the location as well. So you can rank for writer and your home area, your hometown, your home city, depending on how specific you want to get. That's what home pages are really good for. Now, another person in my group, Lorraine, is also asking a similar question. She is trying to rank for editor. Now, I told her that editor is too broad. It's too competitive. And it's almost kind of useless to rank for those terms anyway, because people often aren't just typing that into Google. So they're being more specific. Now she's got her title tag here on the right hand side. We can see freelance writing, editing and author consulting. Now I know she works with authors, so I would look for something like author editing services, something like this. Let's see what that ranks for. Now that doesn't get any particular traffic, but if we scroll down, book editing services looks potentially achievable, has quite a lot of volume. She has quite a, quite a high domain authority on her website. Just looking at that, you can't see this on the screen, I think, but she has a 43 domain authority. If you've never measured your domain authority, you can measure that on Moz's Open Site Explorer. I'll put the link below the video so you can go and measure your DA, that's really useful to know how competitive you are in SEO against other websites. So Lorraine is a 43, which is quite good. And if we look at the sites that are ranking for this stuff, um, she has potentially a chance against some people here on the top 10. Mary Cole has a 800 links. It's quite competitive. The book butchers have 3000 links. So it's pretty competitive, but she may stand a chance, maybe even if we look down to page two, I'm just gonna load some more results here and scroll down to page two. There's potentially some options in here for page two she might be able to get on. And we also have professional book editing. It's a little bit more competitive, but NY book editors. So I would play around with some words like this. Look for stuff that has traffic look for things that is less competition. You can use KW Finder if you have access to that. I find that really good. Otherwise, the other way to check this stuff is really convoluted. You need to go into Keyword Planner for Google, sign up to that. I'll also put the link in the description and then play around in there looking for search term volume. You won't get exact volume, you'll get volume ranges. So it's a little bit painful and you also don't get this display of the top 10 and the domain authority. You can do that using tools like Market Samurai or also using the Moz plugin. There's some options there for that kind of stuff, but it's really time consuming and painful. So as you can see, there's some editing services, editing and writing services options here for her, but she needs to get specific and put these phrases in her title tag, in her main heading, in the copy on her homepage 
and try and rank for stuff that actually has traffic and she has a chance to rank for. Now, once you've settled down over a few months and you've done your changes, let's give it two to three weeks, a month at least, go and check again how you're doing. Go and do the search in a incognito browser in Google. Don't be logged into any Gmail accounts or use an incognito browser to get a realistic perception of how your rankings are doing as opposed to you being logged in, which skews the results and see if you're ranking in the first two pages. If you're not, then you might want to tweak it again and go for something less competitive, something different. But that's basically what you want to do for your home page. You can also try it for your service pages. The problem is your service pages typically have less links and it's harder to rank for. You want to get people to your home page and then guide them to the correct pages to learn more about your services. So I hope you found that particular tip handy. You need to do the research. You need to look for volume. You need to check competitiveness. And then you need to tweak your homepage for your most competitive and money keywords, whether that's products or services. So if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up below. I really appreciate that. That's the only love I get from you guys. And a comment below if you've got any questions or you're having trouble with your homepage, throw it below and I'll see if I can give you a hand. Otherwise, if you need help with your website or you want to get an SEO audit, you can pop over to my website. That's what I do professionally. That's madlemmings.com. Link is also in the bottom. And subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Below the video, there's a subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.